We're back in Raid Shadow Legends and we have some work to do here today, boys. Because I may have made some mistakes along the way. Actually, let's be honest. I know that I've made mistakes along the way, but you guys, the community, have been actually quite amazing, really guiding me through my free-to-play journey here inside of the game. Thank you so much for all of that. I have a comment that is from you, the community, that is driving this entire video, and it's revolving around Kale and two pieces of gear. It also is gonna bring me into the forge for the very first time to fix some things that have been wronged. It's time to get it done. Now, if you've never played Raid Shadow Legends before, and this is your first time here finding my channel, I have a download link in the description of this video, which gives you a free champion and a bunch of rewards and supports me here on the channel as well. So dive on into Raid, join the journey with me and subscribe so you don't miss out on whatever I'm doing next. But let's get into this community question. And the question is brought to us from Burnt NPC on YouTube. It's quite in depth, but we're gonna get to just the basics of it. If you look at the boots and gloves specifically, and he's talking about Kale, so why don't we actually get there, right? If you look at the boots, they're the primary stat for speed. Makes sense. Gloves are primary for crit rate, 40%. Very nice. And he says, gloves have a primary crit rate, which equal 100% crit. You crit all the time with a 2% chance to whiff on bad matchups. But Kale, if you read his abilities, he only needs 85% chance crit rate. What you've done is made it so he will be a fast and non-stop critter. Cool. But I need to change some gear. And I saw some other people in the comments too mention that I upgraded gear, the helmet and my shield, both for offense that probably were not worthy of level 16. I probably wasted a bunch of silver here. And according to Burnt NPC, I should be replacing these two pieces of gear with ones that are called perception pieces of gear. Now, my question is, if I craft these perception gear, will they be the actual pieces that I need? or will they be some other random ones? So I guess we're gonna find out right now because that's what I'm doing. So here is the gear. Maybe it only gives me the ones that I need. That would actually be quite nice if that's how it works, but let's go ahead and we're gonna craft it right here. We're gonna see what we're gonna get. I need a shield and I need a headpiece. Uh, we got set perception. This is a weapon. Does the shield count as the weapon? We'll keep it for now. Can we craft another one? I'm just gonna craft a bunch of these and see what we could actually get. Uh, oh, a legendary. Was the last one legendary too? We're gonna keep that. The last one was not legendary. We're gonna keep that bad boy. We're gonna craft again. I, oh, why is it? This is an epic. Why is it continuously giving me the same one? Am I am I clicking something that I like? Oh, that's what all these are for. I see. Okay, this is all starting to make sense now. That's what these are for. But the problem that I'm having here is I can't craft anymore. And I didn't get what I needed. Because if we go over to Kale, and if I wanna to go to Perception, here they are. One, which is legendary. Two, which is epic. Three, which is rare. So we actually got one really good one. But if I wanted to equip this, would it put it there? Let's try it. Nope, it doesn't. It's gonna put it in the other slot, which is not what I want to do. So we have to cancel that. I did not get the Perception gear that I wanted. Now I'm sitting here worried, did I forge something improperly? Was I supposed to like do something special here? Wait a second, what is this? Could I have chosen? Oh my goodness. I could have chosen, I guess if I had more of these charms, chances of it being a helmet or a shield. Otherwise, it's just random. Let's see what these chances say. Legendary. Actually, I had bad odds of getting a legendary, and we did get one, which is pretty cool. And it's a 16% chance of getting weapons, helmets, shields, gauntlets, chest plates, or boots. So really, kind of weird that I got the three of the same every single time. But at least we know that we need perception. When we get enough materials through our grinding, we'll be able to use them. By the way, Guardian Ring, we got to keep him going up, keep that moving. And the market seems to have something as well for us, but there's... Well, there's nothing in the market for us, nothing that we need right now. Oh, it looks like weekly, we're doing good. Daily, we're completed. Complete all quests, upgrade an artifact to 12. We actually, actively, uh, actually have been trying to grind up the artifacts here. We wanna really make sure that he gets, he gets up where he needs to be. 
and I like the boots. Let's actually upgrade this guy all the way up to 12. Let's get it to 12. Boom, we're gonna let this go. It's gonna give me that for the, the monthly. There we go, we need one more level on that and we just got it, beautiful stuff. All right, so we got our weekly done and uh, we're getting him quite a bit stronger. Now, hopefully I'm actually doing pieces here that are important. This is the Guardian set, which I actually like. We'll claim this, cha-ching. We almost got another one and by the way, Check out how many shards we got here. Ancient shards, we got 21 of these bad boys and one void. Let's actually summon 10 of the mysteries just to see what we got. We've been working on food for Kale. We almost got him up to 60. Oh, this is good, I need some two stars. Another two star, boom, boom, yes. This was actually a great pull for me, pulling in four of the two stars because we need them. And I'm gonna show you why. I'll kind of show you what we've been up to. Plus, look at this, Blink. that was a free gem. Now let's show you where we are with Kale. If I wanna take Kale to the tavern, because it's about getting him to six stars, I need five five-star champions. I have two. These guys are just waiting to be food for Kale. So when we go and check out the tavern with some other champions, what can we upgrade here? Well, these are all ones that we could upgrade, but I'm really just waiting to get Kale there first. I don't wanna waste any other food. We have two level 40s waiting to go and become level 50s, or, you know, to become five-star level one champions to be his food. This guy's just about ready to go as well. We need just to get him a little bit higher. He's essentially there. So that's the three pieces of food for Kale, but we need to get more four stars to upgrade them. Because if I select the champion, I don't have four stars that are just sitting with no upgrades on them. So we have to get some three stars that can be upgraded. And I'm not getting rid of Armager because we have him and we're keeping him. Uh, by the way, that brings up a question. I have two other Armagers right here. I haven't done anything with them. Do I need to save them? Or because they're duplicates, can I get rid of them? I don't know if duplicates can help me on the account. Guidance, please. I'll be looking into the comments for the answers to that. As two stars go, we have two that we're trying to make our way to getting them up to three. And we really have nothing else that could be upgraded here. That's because the grind has been real. And that's what we've been doing. So this is what I've been going to. I've been doing campaign and I'm just going over here to the final stage 12-3. And this is what we've been going with. Boom, we go into the battle. It costs four um, energy and it's super easy. And Kale just brings home the show every time. I like it. And if I'm sitting at my desk, I'll just click it. If I'm away, I'll throw on auto battles. I had like 80 this morning. I think I used 30 or so. Really, I'm just trying to get this food. Because once we get Kale to 60, then we can focus on one of our other champions, getting them to 60. Plus, once I get Kale unlocking that sixth star, I could spend his final points that we needed to spend. Okay, let's show, let me actually show you. If I go to champions, when we go to masteries, I have six more mastery points I can spend. They're going to be spent right down here, but I have to wait until I get them to six stars to get there. So that's fine, I'm patient, but what are we gonna do? We've actually, actually, let's see what events are going on right now. Oh, the Fire Knight Castle. This ends in a day in 14 hours. I can get 400 points. Let's go there and see how we could do on this. This one has been challenging. It's not the easiest for me. You know, seeing that it only took me 18 terms, I bet you I have some kind of an advantage using Kale there. We're gonna go with some food as well. Who needs to be leveled right here? This guy needs to be leveled. We need to get him to 40, then he's done, right? And we're just about there. And then we need to start getting some of this food up. We got him, two star, two star. They're gonna need two stars as food. So I can go with, I only have one extra two star to be honest with you. We'll go with her and we're gonna do a match. Let's see how we can do. I don't know if when I did defeat this in 18 turns, if it was with Kale and friends or with Kale and food. We'll see. Cause this food, this food be pretty weak. This shield with the eyeballs creeps me out every time. Nice, nice job. Come on guys, can we do a little damage to this enemy? This boss can't, oh, that was a good one. That was a good, oh, yes. That was good progression right there. He's max leveled, so we're gonna edit team. This guy is now done. We'll take him out of there. Two stars, I really need more two stars. I, I know you tell me not to level one stars, but I feel like it'll be pretty easy to do. And we do have 63 auto battles, by the way. Yeah, this is going all right. Another victory, let's go. Let's go, let's actually go to uh, Bastion and see what kind of progress we made on this tournament right here. What do we have, 28? Jesus, that seems like I'm really far from being victorious. Jeez, Louise, what does this info say? Tournament points, I could only get up to 13 because of the level that I'm at right now. So it's really not the most effective for me. I'm gonna take a step back from that because that just that just hurt my feelings a little bit. So we're gonna go back to the arena where we can crush other people's souls. This person looks like they're ready to have their souls crushed. We'll beat them up. Let's beat them up a little bit and make me feel better about myself. I always get jealous when I see people with champions that I don't have. Like, I want that one. 
don't even know if that one's good, but I want it. Because I like to collect things. Everyone here would beat me. Maybe not this guy. They got two fives though. I got one five. Ooh, I I wonder if I could win this. Let's give it a shot. I like to give some a shot sometimes that I'm not sure if I'll win or not. We did start it out though, which is a huge plus for us. That actually wasn't difficult at all, probably because we got that first start. Is that where speed comes into account, by the way? How quickly you begin? Okay, so what can we do? We can get into the campaign and you know what we could dive into is the hard level. By the way, I'm saving normal. I have to come through and three star everything from here on. I wanna wait until I can do it solo with Kale and get experience on Kale for doing it. So as soon as I get him to six stars, I'm gonna to wanna to level him. So I'll wait for that to do that. I don't know if that's wise or not. I feel like it's a smart play, right? To go in solo with him. Let's try over here, we're on a new stage. And I guess we could come in here. We'll go with him because we have to level him anyway. Maybe I'll take him out. And let's go with some of the food that we're trying to upgrade as well. We got food and food. Let's see if we can do any damage on hard. This is good, we'll get a little bit more experience. And we still have our boy Kale, who's geared up nicely. Now I realize I, I upgraded some gear I shouldn't have to level 16, but it's okay. Um, Jizza, we're gonna see what he actually can do. If he has any ability here that is going to be helpful to this battle. Besides just being a big tank, lizard looking guy. Yeah, it looks like Kale should be able to get this done. All right, cool. So we got our good rewards. 3,000 XP, it's good for the leveling as well. We'll get them up, so we'll just keep going next. Let's see how far we can go. Let's see if I can get through this whole thing. I'm probably gonna have to switch out Jizza and pull in Giscard instead for a little bit more defense, but I'll still be able to level my food up as I'm going. That's really the grind right now is to get that food level. Let's go, we got good silver coming in too. Let's go to the next one. This is using six energy where my typical grind, I use four energy, but I am getting a little bit more experience for it as well, plus, we're getting the rewards down below in that bottom tier. So what have your New Year's resolutions been, guys? We didn't talk about this and it's already a few years into it. Have you kept to them? I have two. One is to be nice and patient and calm with my family and kids. Really, it could be hard as a dad. Two was to get back to the gym and make sure that I'm going to the gym at least five days a week and to eat healthier. All right, we're actually progressing well with the food. Got him up to 18. I think this is gonna be the boss fight right now. Yes, it is. Uh, looks like we're gonna take this guy down. He's a cool looking dragon. I quite like him. We're, we're crushing this. This is actually awesome. I didn't expect to get that far, which is cool. Let's go to the next level. I want, uh, you know, with the masteries and the new gear, Kel, I wonder if Kel could get completely through the hard mode. Thing is, I'm not really setting him up with a solid team. I'm kind of using this as, as production of food, you know? Not getting any great rewards though. Let's actually go back to the map stage selection. I got some reward. I, I, I knew I'd be getting rewards here. We got here silver and we got our gems as well. 25 more, 290. The next set of gems, I could go for masteries or I can upgrade my gem mine again, which is possibly what I'm gonna wanna do. We also can get more experience. I, I wonder, I wonder, I don't know if I have extended experience happening right now. Let's keep going here. I want to keep this battle going. I'm actually I'm actually quite enjoying it. I hope that you are too. We're rocking through this. You guys and your advice has been really good for me advancing Kale. Now I just need to figure out how to get better odds of getting the gear that I need. Another victory right there. We're going again. We're we're going to be able to crush through this entire stage. This means we're going to have crushed through two stages here. I'm looking forward to getting onto the next one past no past hard because this isn't hard. I'm very good. I'm very strong. This is not hard for me, no. Also, knowing my champions, because I know you guys know them pretty well, which is the next best champion I have right now besides Kale? This may be the last one. This is gonna be the last one. We're going against this boss here. Maybe we'll even get more rewards when we're done too for all the progression that we've made. All right, here he is. He doesn't look too intimidating. And I never worry about the, the buddies that are next to these, these bosses because Kale does a lot of area of effect damage, which is nice. Apparently though, I'm not using his poison the way that I should be. All right, now it's just up to Kale. It's a 1v1. One more shot, as long as he doesn't regenerate health, we got it. All right, cool, we did We did take it down. We did go and get some champions up that we said we could get up to the next level, right? So that's a couple of twos right here. We'll throw uh, one, two in there, upgrade that bad boy, yes. 
And we're gonna go with another two right here, and we could throw these twos, uh, one, two, in there. Again, still waiting to see what I should do with these. I'm, I'm holding on to them as a just-in-case situation. Now we have some three stars. Do we have a three? So I don't have any three stars that are ready to be food yet. Man, it, it feels like never-ending grind. It just does seem to take quite a bit of time but I guess that's Raid. Thanks for watching the video, guys. A little bit of grinding today. I was actually enjoying going through the campaign. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what we do tomorrow.